Hello, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, I'm going to show you how I transport my motorcycles on a garden slash utility trailer and the proper way to strap it down so it doesn't go anywhere. And one of the things I want to point out is if you look at this trailer, you see that I have a motorcycle chuck on it for the wheel. I think the wheel fits in there. And that keeps the wheel from going sideways. And the biggest concern you're gonna have uh, when you're putting your motorcycle either on a garden trailer like this one, or even in the back of a truck uh, with my eight foot bed. Um, it, you can tie the straps down, but if the wheel bounces uh, and moves sideways, then the bike can drop over. So by adding a wheel chuck, you can avoid that. You can get a wheel chuck as cheap as 20 bucks, but the ones that I like, are, I can get at um, Harbor Freight for about $56. If you check out my video on my enclosed trailer, you'll see what the new ones look like. This is an old model. So I'm gonna roll that bike up on here and show you how I strap it down. This is a 10 by five and a half foot trailer that I got at Tractor Supply on sale for 1100 bucks. And you'll notice it has the heavy duty railings, lots of places to attach straps, and the built-in gate with the latches. So I really uh, think this is the best value out there for a trailer. Now I also have the enclosed one because I'm in Northeast uh, United States up in Pennsylvania and we get some rain. But uh, if you're like, if you're like John from John's Moto Garage in Arizona, he doesn't need an enclosed trailer because they get four hours of rain in a year. If you haven't checked out his uh, YouTube channel, it's John's Moto Garage. He does some cool things with bikes. So check his out. In the meantime, I'm gonna get the bike for you and we'll throw it up there and show you how to strap it on. Okay, you can see that wheel chuck holds it in place. So we're not gonna have to worry about if we have it strapped down, you know, the wheel hitting a bump and then bouncing sideways and the bike rolling over. I'm also gonna show you two ways to tie it down in the back. If you have a luggage rack, you can go two straps, one on each side. But the whole idea of the back straps is to keep it from moving side to side. So you can use one strap, wrap it around the tire, and go to the other side, and that'll keep it from moving also. Uh, so now I'm gonna put some straps on. You'll notice when I put this wheel chuck in, I put eye hook bolts in the front of it. So I can put my ratchet strap here, come up and go over, and that just gives me a little more security in how I'm strapping the bike down. So you'll see how we do this. I'm gonna put this down for now. Just move this bag, and I'm just going to put the strap around it. Remember not to strap it onto the fender, make sure you strap it onto the cross piece. So what I do with these is you can either go through this loop, the bottom loop, and go over the top the hook and that'll keep it nice and tight and see how I did that and then on the 
other end. I'm just gonna run it through the ratchet strap. Make sure you use ratchet straps so that you can make it nice and taut. Okay. I'll just go down on this a little bit. And now I'm gonna go do the other side. I'm gonna do the same deal up on this corner. I'm gonna go through my hook. I'm gonna put this through the end and then over the top of the hook and pull it. And that ain't gonna go anywhere. Okay? That is not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so then we do the same thing. We can just ratchet that down. Another advantage to using the wheel chuck is I don't have to tighten down as hard on the front forks. And a lot of times what happens if we really tighten down hard on these, you hit a bump, you can blow out the, the shocks, the seal on the shocks. So by using this method, I don't think you're gonna have that damage. I've never had any seals a blow out in all the bikes that I haul on uh, small trailers like this. Now we'll do the back wheel. Do this the exact same way. Loop it through here. Over the top. That's not going to go anywhere. And now we just want this wheel to stay in place. So we're just going to feed this through the tire. It's where I want it so I can have this on. I'm going to loop it around the wheel. It's a little tighter, so I just hooked it on here. And then we're going to run this through. It's 30 degrees outside. Okay, so now I can just tighten this ratchet down and that wheel's in place. Now you can see, the bike isn't gonna go anywhere. Okay, so now I'm just gonna redo the back of the bike using a two-strap method. If you have a heavier bike or a larger bike, if I was putting my switch back on here or Marie's 1200 low, uh, I would probably use two straps. So I'm gonna put those on there so you can see both methods. And when I'm t attaching to uh, the luggage rack, I don't want to bend it or ding it, so I run the strap all the way through uh, and twist it around like we did earlier on the front. So I'll show you that so you know how I do that. so it's not right against there. So there you see it. Now we'll do the other side.
there you have the two strap method. A word of caution. Do not let these loose straps flop around. Tie them, secure them to something. Uh, when you're going down the highway, these straps can damage the paint, they hit the paint. If you're tying your bike down uh, on the back of your pickup truck and these are hanging over the side, they'll take the paint, scratch the paint right off your truck. So you want to make sure you tie the loose ends off, uh, either to the railings or uh, you know, back up to the uh, luggage rack or whatever. You do not want these flopping around. If they flop around, they're going to cause damage. So there you have it. An easy way to turn your utility garden trailer into a motorcycle trailer and how to properly secure it. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. It's free. It helps me out a lot. Also, give the video a thumbs up and ring that bell and you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. And one other thing, don't forget to go have some fun out there.